Hey guys, it's Kimber with The Pinning Mama. Um, I am back today for lesson five of Silhouette Bootcamp, um, and it is all about the divide tool. Um, the divide tool is not something you're gonna use all the time, but like when you have this certain situation, it is just so useful. Um, so I'm gonna show you five examples today of how and why to use the divide tool. Um, if you missed lesson four, make sure you go back and do that one because it is all about the crop tool and the crop tool is probably my most used tool in the whole modify panel. Um, so make sure to catch that if you didn't. And now we will get on to the divide tool. Um, so basically what the divide tool is, is it allows you to overlap shapes. You can see an example here. I've overlapped a square, a rectangle, a heart, and an oval. And then, um, Basically, if we go to our modifier, or if we highlight those, see, make sure we get them all, and we go to our modify panel, which is going to be this little rectangle with the circle and the M, um, we can pick divide, and it's going to now break everything into pieces that was overlapping. So you can see I um, colored them down here so you can see it a little better on this bottom example right here, um, but it did that on the top one, and basically now, we can separate those into individual pieces. It's almost kind of like a puzzle. You can see anywhere a shape was overlapping that was just cut, um, and now we have individual pieces. So that's kind of cool, but in reality, like why would we want to do that? Um, so we're gonna look at five different examples. The first one is kind of creating a Venn diagram effect, and so um, when you have two shapes, you want them to overlap and kind of create that perfect, um, you know, outline of uh, kind of where the shapes were, you're able to do that. I just had two circles right here. Um, just like in the other ones, I take them, I overlap them, then you're gonna have to select both shapes. It'll only work if you have multiple shapes selected. You can do up to eight, um, but you notice if I only have one shape, it's not even gonna show up, and if you think I can't divide, it's because you don't have everything selected. So um, I like to just drag my mouse around the whole thing, or you can also click and then hold down shift and click the other shape. You'll notice they're both selected because the bounding box now goes around both shapes instead of just one. And then these um, all pop up for me and I click divide. And now you can see that I have those three shapes. Again, I uh, changed the color right here just so you could see it more clearly. Um, but that is our example one. So one thing that I think um, is super useful for the divide feature is creating these perfect borders. So you can kind of see we did that in the Venn diagram. Again, you can see that here um, in the square. And this um, just allows you to then have like the perfect outline of whatever shape you had overlapped. Um, and these squares are pretty simple example, but if you have like a more complex shape that has, you know, some rounded edges or maybe like a flower or something, um, it can be really useful to get a perfect um, line that matches up with that. So again, to create that perfect outline, I basically just did the same thing. I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna select this all and move it over so we can do it again. So let's just move this out of the way. And then all I'm gonna do is, if you want a perfect square, you can hold down your shift key and draw that out. There's one square. And then I will draw out, well actually I'll just um, choose my select tool. I will right, I will click on this to select it, right click it, and then duplicate so I have the same exact square. I'm just gonna eyeball it, but put it there. And then Again, I wanna select them all, select both of them, um, and then hit divide. And now instead of two squares, I have three squares. And then you can see I just, on this one, I um, used my grid and you can turn that on and off. I have it off just so it was a little easier to see when I'm doing it. But you can use your grid to um, perfectly line those up for spacing um, and make that easy. Let's see, I'm gonna turn those back off. So those just perfectly spaced lines are one thing I think is super, super useful for the divide tool. Um, our next example is creating negative space. And this is really cool because you can make a lot of, um, you know, cool designs uh, by using negative space. So what I did with this is I just took the word love, I overlapped the heart, and then I deleted out, I used the divide tool, of course, and then I deleted out the places that were overlapping um, to give us that negative space. Now, if I cut this, I would obviously 
have to um, move the heart pieces over. I would have to, let's see. I'd have to move these heart pieces. I'm going to have to group them together first. But let's see, because now that I divided it, they're all individual pieces, but I can group them together. And then I would obviously want to cut the light pink on one type of vinyl and the dark pink on the other. But let's look at um, how I did this. So again, I'm going to move, oops, Ooh, that was not what I wanted to do. You can tell I didn't have that all selected and it wasn't all grouped together. Um, so that's a lesson right there. So I'm going to move that over so it's out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my text tool. I'm going to type um, love. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to change my font. I use um, this font right here that I like to use a lot. I'm going to make it quite a bit bigger. And then whenever I'm doing designs where I overlap um, designs on top of them, I just always like to space the characters as close as I can together because it helps, I think, make the design look better. Um, so I moved the character spacing. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger again. Okay. And then um, I'm going to fill it in because I do think it's easier to see. We'll make it a little bit different. Oops. i got to select it and then pick my color and it'll fill and then I'm going to go to my library and find my heart right here. Okay, so then I have my heart on my design. And I'm just going to make that bigger. We can line it up wherever we want it. And then I'm going to color this fill panel again and um, okay so now we are ready to use our divide tool so again go back to what we know we select everything because we have our text Oops, see it didn't select we know that because the bounding box is just around the heart not around the left so I'm going to hold down shift and click on it now we know that everything's selected I'm going to go back and pick my modify panel you can do it here I can also show you can do it up here object modify and then choose divide and you'll see that it now broke those all into individual pieces. So to get the negative effect, I just go through and easily click each of the overlapping places and delete them out. And I have that same design. Now what you're going to want to do on a design like this is go ahead and group things right away because if you don't, um, it's going to drive you absolutely insane and you're probably going to mess up the design a little bit when you try to move things. So I would go through and just um, hold down shift, highlight each of the letters, right click group those back together make sure when you're doing this you don't miss any tiny little pieces um, and then I would do it the same thing here we have that but these are now separate so we're going to need to also and what I mean by that is here I'll show you see how if I move that these when we cropped it or divided it it turned them all into separate shapes I'm just going to undo that so when we um, we're going to need to group those together so that they work as one piece um, because of course we would want to layer it back onto um, a cup or shirt or whatever it may be um, all together in that same exact configuration. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and then I select each little piece and then I can right click and I can group that together. And then you have your, oops, I missed that piece. See, if you miss a piece, you just control Z, go back. And then I can just hold the shift key down, hold that down and then group those together. That was a great lesson. Okay, so moving on. The next thing that you can do with the divide tool is to make really cool custom shapes. And sometimes there's things that are super simple, you don't really want to buy them, um, but you also aren't exactly sure how to make them because it should be easy, you just don't know exactly how to do it. Um, so the divide tool can really help you make those simple shapes. Um, like for example, I wanted to use this, um, make this square which has two rounded corners and two um, sharp pointy corners. Um, there's no, you know, shape tool over here that gives you the ability to do that, but, you know, that's so simple. I don't want to really buy it, um, but I can make it easily with the divide tool. So all I do um, to get this effect is I took one square with a rounded corner, or two, sorry, one square with a rounded corner, overlapped it, on another square with a rounded corner. Um, and then I used, I'll show you, let's select both of those. Go to our modify panel, 
divide tool and it divided that where all of the lines were overlapping. So now we have um, a square with two rounded corners, two pointy corners. Um, if I would have done it with a um, rounded square and a pointy square right here, um, I would have gotten one rounded corner and three pointy corners. So you can do that. You can make um, you know any combination of shapes overlapping to um, to create your own you know custom simple easy shapes. You can also get really really complex, but um, I usually just you know buy one of those that may be more complex and may take me you know way longer to create unless it's something really specific that I have a vision for. So anyways that's how you use that to create a simple shape and then um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is using it to um, do a really quick fix on layered vinyl projects. When you have a project that you are layering vinyl on, for example, say this is a car decal, and this is again a very simple example just to help you understand it. Say you have a car decal, we've probably all seen these, an oval with 13.1 in it for like a half marathon. If I was to put this on a car, I, you know, like this, it might just be one red oval and then we would layer on top of it that yellow 13.1. Well, what that would result in is this um, decal having um, two layer depths. So you'd have the layer um, of the oval and then you'd have a little bit higher lay layer with this writing on it. If we wanted that to all be one just smooth continuous layer, um, we could quickly use the divide tool and there's multiple ways to do things but I find divide really easy for stuff like this. Um, so you would just use the divide tool so I would I uh, take my oval, I would have my 13.1 right on top of it, right, you know, perfectly where I wanted it, and then select both of them. Oops, it didn't select both of them, so I just hold the shift key. Now I selected both of them, hit divide, and now um, it took out where it was overlapping and created lines. You'll also notice that it divided that. It's not text uh, anymore that was a compound path. It now release that compound pass. So we're going to have to um, group these back together before we move it or we're going to really mess up our spacing. So I'm going to, oops, don't want to do that. I'm going to just hold down my shift key, click on each of these, right click, group those together, and then move them off. And you can see I can now cut the um, red circle out of red. I can cut the 13.1 out of yellow. And when I layer them, I will have a perfect um, perfectly spaced, perfectly sized 13.1 um, cut out of my oval so that when I put that yellow 13.1 in that space, my vinyl decal will be one just continuous um, thickness instead of having multiple thicknesses. Now this is again just two layers that I'm showing you here, um, but if you can imagine you had, say I've seen people do um, cute characters on cups and the characters have you know three four five six seven different colors of vinyl and when you pile those all up this can get really thick so um, by doing this it gives you an easy way to just crop out um, of multiple colors uh, multiple different designs on top of each other up to eight um, different things to create you know one layer when you're um, layering vinyl. They could also be layering paper or layering any other type of media um, but this just gives you a really quick and easy way to do it with the divide tool. So I guess to review, the divide tool just breaks up things anywhere they're overlapping. Um, you can create a Venn diagram type effect. You can create perfect borders um, when you use the divide tool between shapes. You can create negative effect um, in a design. You can create custom shapes with it. And then of course use it to layer um, vinyl. That wraps up lesson five, which is our divide tool. If you haven't um, done the other lessons, check it out on uh, my blog. I have a link to show you all of the lessons Lessons. There's going to be over 20 of these lessons when we get done with this little boot camp. So join in and um, follow along with us. And we will see you next time for lesson six.